everybody, this is D. Um, I'm coming on here today. I know it's a little different camera angle. I got a new desk and whatnot. I'm going to give you guys a tour of my yarn room. Uh, I'll probably video it after this. But anyways, I got some Happy Mail. And also my um, Leather Company came in. And I dyed some yarn. And I just want to show you a whole bunch of stuff. So um, I'll get started. Okay. So, let's get into the Leather first and get that out of the way. They come in these pink boxes. I love my Leather boxes. Okay, this one, I'll do Leather next. Okay, this one is the Leather Sock Club. And it is based on national parks. And this month, it's on Seg... Ooh. Segura? Segura National Park Sock Set. It's 85% superwash merino and 15% nylon. There's 400 yards in the big hank and 92 in the little. So let me show you. It kind of gets in the way, doesn't it? Let me see. I'm going to take it this way. There we go. Okay, this is the large hank. And I can see where they get parks out of it. A little bit more white than I would like, but I think it's beautiful. And then this is for your heel and your toe. And the two of them together. I think they are really pretty. And uh, I get this every month. I think it's like $32 or something. And it also comes with a pattern. Hold on one second. It comes with a pattern for the socks of the month. And this is crochet. Let me see if there's a knit one as well. Nope, just crochet. And these are the socks. Aren't they pretty? And then you also get the National Park um, stitch marker and that'll go on my stitch marker thingy back there so I'm very happy with that then my next one this is my favorite one because I get the cool crochet hooks now um, the wife makes hand dyes the yarn and the husband makes the hooks and I've got oh they're over there now <laughs> I got a whole bunch of these hooks and I love them and this one is extra cool, but I'll show you in a minute. This one is called Thumper. The yarn color is called Thumper. And there's some like ecru and gray and yellows. And this is the picture on the front. It is 100% superwash merino, 231 yards or 100 grams. Okay, then you also got, oh, I see why she called it Thumper. You get a bunny rabbit stitch marker. Super cool. And this little organza bag. You get her signature stitch marker that she always sends. Different colors, but that's the one that she always sends. And two bunny buttons. Aren't they cute? Bunny buttons. Super cute. And let's see, what is it? Thumper Crochet Coffee Cozy. And this one comes in knit and crochet. And this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can cover it. With a little bunny button on it. Isn't it cute? I like it. Now this is the hook. I am thrilled. It looks like a peacock. Look how pretty. Oh, I love this one. And look at the tiny little hook. If you can see. So pretty. It's like rainbow and peacock all rolled into one. I love it. 
Okay, so that's my least, my two Leather subscriptions that I get every month. I was getting the mini Hanks, but I decided I had to forfeit one. And I like the sock yarn. Um, I think I'm going to try to crochet knit. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm going to try to crochet some uh, socks. So we'll see how that goes. I'll let you guys know. But right now I'm working on my bod project. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Crystal over at Bag of Day is having a contest. And it's like six weeks long. I think we got five weeks left or something. And the challenge is to make something using uh, a stitch that she's taught you in one of her tutorials or a stitch tutorial or whatever, and come up with your own design. And so that's what I'm working on, and I'm not going to show you until it's done. But anyways, yeah, so I'm entering that, and if you're not entered, you should go over there and try. Now, it's not a matter of who does better than who. She isn't judging it. What you do is you send her a picture, either by email or on her Facebook, and um, it's going to go into like a random comment picker kind of thing. So that way nobody feels bad or whatever. So you can make whatever you want. Um, she prefers garments. She wants it to be a garment of some sort using her stitches. You can use any weight yarn, any color. You can do your own thing, but it has to be a garment. She has included shawls and ponchos. Um, and uh, you have to use one of her stitches. Not her tutorials, but her stitch tutorials or a stitch from a tutorial that you learned from her. And that's what I'm doing. And I learned a lot from Crystal, so I got a lot to choose from. Um, anyway, so that is uh, something that I'm involved in right now, which is super exciting. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is my Happy Meal. I also got my Annie's kit, which I'll show you that in a minute. I got so much stuff underneath my new desk, you wouldn't even believe it. I fit that big box, my big box, underneath there, which is amazing to me. It's like an L-shaped desk. It's super cool. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Now, you know how Patricia is, you know, the coupon queen, right? And she's always penny shopping at Dollar General and all that kind of stuff. And whenever she finds something that she thinks I like, she sends it. Well, everybody knows I love gnomes. And check this out. It's like two foot tall and it stands all by itself. Isn't it cool? And it's got bunny ears and it's my color blue. So I got that. And underneath that was the card. Oh, no, sorry. That's the wrong card. I don't know how that ended up there. Okay, well, I'm just going to go on. Next is a ladies oblong scarf. And this is really nice. Feels real nice. It has like the buffalo plaid on it. Nice scarf. Mark might like that one. And a cool pom pom pen. And it has oh, and it has beads inside of it. So that's gonna go in. I even moved my pen thing. I need that back. Okay, I got to re rearrange things a little bit. And then also this candlestick, which I thought was really pretty. And they had like 90% off on their Easter, and then it was a penny and all that kind of stuff. So she sent me Easter with my gnomies. And it's got gnomes on it, which is really cute. And then this one is just a solid blue. And this one says, Happy Easter. And it comes with a solid green. And it's got the bunny on it and some leaves. And then another one says, Easter with my nomies. And it's got this solid blue. So those are come in handy. And then she got these really cool oblong paper plates. They're meant for Easter, but, you know, who cares, right? I thought those were cool, especially for my mom's dinner. Because I always give her paper plates. And, uh, unless she's got to cut meat, but she's, she, you know, I cut it for her. So, but anyways, uh, so I thought this would be really cool, um, for her because it's a bigger plate for her to, so those are super cool. I love those. Okay. And then there was this and it says bunny kisses and Easter wishes. And it's one of those things with the beads on it that you hang up. 
so much stuff, you guys. This was two boxes. Um, I've waited because I was tearing up my yarn room. So this is really pretty. Some uh, fake tulips, which I love. I try to put them in my window or something. And here's another one with just pink tulips. That one will probably go to Mama. Oh, I found some more dish towels. What's this one say? Home is where the plants are. Ain't that the truth? I got plants everywhere. <laughs> and this really cool tic-tac-toe board. It's a game. You can actually play it. That'll probably go to one of the grandkids. And here's some more Easter with Monomies. And then a couple of pair of gloves. You know, the off-season stuff and stuff like that is going on with that um, at the Dollar General. So, that's where she got this from. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Wish list. And there's like four pads of paper. Perfect. I can always use paper. Okay, then the <laughs> squishy dinosaur. He's squishy. Ink pen. Oh, that one broke. Oh, a rainbow pen. That'd be good for June, Pride Month. And this one's got a bunch of, it's a bunny rabbit. These got broke in, the, in travel, but it's got like sweet tart bunnies in it. And those uh, pop it things. This is a unicorn. And you can pop the bubbles back and forth. You know, it's a fidget toy. And this one, what is this one? Oh, that's a unicorn as well. Two unicorns. I'll probably put those in giveaways. And this one is, I believe, an elephant. No. What do you guys think of this? Yes, it is an elephant. This one is an elephant. And then there's some sticky notes with the letter C. Always use paper. What are these? Highlighter dual tip highlighter. That's handy dandy. And another fidget uh, keychain. This one's a heart. Oh, here's another heart. And here's a flower. And then the rest is the candies that fell out of this here, which I'll put in our candy dish in the kitchen. Wasn't that nice? Thank you, Patricia. You always send me such just random stuff, but it's all cool. Like, I'm going to put these in giveaways for sure. Thank you so much. Matter of fact, I'm going to stick them in my giveaway basket down there. But I got all of this really cool stuff. Okay, let me see. What can I do with all this? I'm piling things up everywhere. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Candy's busted up everywhere. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my yarn that me and Thrist died. Well, I died with Thrist's uh, supervision. <laughs> I told her, don't you touch it. I want to I want to say that I did this. So um, she came over and we dyed some yarn. And she brought me, um, she went to the dollar store and got me tongs and spoons. And she brought her pans and her dyes and she bought me some bottles, and she mi we mixed up dyes, and she showed me how to do that, and it was really fun. I really enjoyed it, and I love the way the yarn came out. There's a couple of them, eh, you know, but this is my first time ever doing it, so I'm super excited. So anyways, I'm going to show you what I, got, I made. First off, oh, a bunch of them fell. Let me get the ones that me and Frist did together. Okay. This is the one colorway. Didn't that turn out pretty? The colors are real intense. I really, really love this one. And then this one is the blue and green and uh, Caribbean blue, I believe. Teal, Caribbean blue, extreme blue. The extreme blue is the end right there. They turned out really nice. This was all Kramer yarn, so we weren't even sure what the contents of it was. Oh, my camera bounced a little bit. 
the contents of the yarn, I have no idea. So we know it's wool, but some of it, like for instance, this didn't take the color quite as well. And I think that's, well, Thrist thinks that it's because it probably had like some tinsel or something like that in it. Okay, then this one, I'm pretty proud of this one. This one I did in Fuchsia Black, and it really looks like Melabrigo. I'm pretty proud of myself. This is one I did after Thrist went home. The rest of these I did after Thrist went home. Okay, so exactly what I was talking about, differences in yarn. This one, which I think is really cool, I put splotches of color, and, and it's every color. It's a rainbow. Okay, but this must be 100% wool because it took the dye really well. But this one, now if you compare the two, this one didn't take the color quite as vibrant as the other one. So this one probably has tinsel in it. These are both dyed in the same pan, same color, same everything, but look totally different. I hope you can see the difference in them. Still love them. They're still beautiful. So, pretty happy about that. Then I did one in black and teal, which to me also looks like Melabrigo. I love it. I only had one left. That was like my last one I did. Okay, hold on. I got to get turn around here. A bunch of them fell off my table. Okay. This one I was calling my hippie rainbow color. And this is the one with tinsel on it. So it didn't like grab, you know, a ton, but it did enough to where I like it. And it's got all the colors of the rainbow in it. And I like that a lot. Okay, here is some pretty yarn. This one is brown and fuchsia. I love brown and pink together. I don't know if you guys do, but I do. And I love the vibrance. This was definitely 100% wool of some sort, whether it be merino or just, you know, regular wool. But look how colorful that really sucked in the color. Good. I love this. I can't wait to make something out of it. Okay, then. Hold on, they're falling everywhere. Maybe setting them on this table back here wasn't that great of an idea. Okay. There. Okay. Now, I did a, qu a sweater quantity of this color because, you know, it's my color. And this came out really good. It's electric blue and teal. I just used two colors. And I really like the way it came out. Now, there was a couple spots. There's two of them that didn't. Yep, yeah, these two that didn't take the yarn as well. And of course I got an avalanche. A yarn avalanche. Okay, so you see a couple of the whiter spots in these ones. There's a couple like right here. It's kind of whiter. And there, there's a spot right there. So these ones are kind of speckled, but I don't care. I'm throwing them in with my sweater. They're gonna be a sweater. Let me take a drink. Okay, the last one I did, I was terrified to do. And the reason being, it's baby alpaca and sparkle. Terrified to do it because I know baby alpaca and that if you don't keep it on a lower heat. I learned all this from Thrust. Thrust and Stitches, by the way. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting for? She does live dyes all the time. It's very interesting to watch her. She comes up with beautiful colorways. Her saturation on her yarn is incredible. I felt the other day some of her new bases, her new yarn bases. Oh my gosh. They are butter soft. I mean, they were soft before, but now the bases she's got now are butter soft, y'all. Anyways, commercial for thrifts. <laughs> Anyway, so I was a little nervous about this one. So I, I made sure the heat was down like she said, and I tried not to poke around on it too much. And it still felt it a little bit, y'all. So it's not perfect. But hey, this is my first go-around, right? Okay, so these three 
came out pretty much the same. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but there's purples and uh, Valentine blush, I think it was called. There was blues. This is the leftover dye because I literally used all the dye that she sent except for black and brown. And then this one, there's some green in there as well. And I don't know if you guys can tell it sparkles, but it really sparkles so pretty. And I, I did three of those exactly alike. And then with the leftover dye in the pan is where these came from. Okay, so this is more of a, it reminds me of a watermelon. This color pink with the green next to it. But they're a faded version of the others. Still beautiful. Still love them. Almost looks like I did it on purpose. But I didn't. Because <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But anyway, so those are all the yarns. How many did I do? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 25. I did 25 hanks. I'm so excited. I'm just thrilled. And I'm... I'm as I was going through my yarn room, I'm looking for stuff I can over dye like she does. And uh, I found some 100% wool I can over dye, which I'll make a felted bag out of or something along those lines. And, oh, she, she's got me, my wheels just spinning. And uh, Mark ordered me some pans and some dye. And I'm going to order some more of them bottles. And... Um, Eventually here I'm going to have to buy some yarn to dye. And I'm having fun. This is so fun, y'all. It's rather expensive to get going with it, you know, because the dyes cost a lot. You wouldn't think, you know, oh, it's $4 a bottle or $5 a bottle. Some of them are 8 or whatever. But it's only for two ounces. And you need a bunch of colors, right? You don't just want one color. And then you got to have all the equipment, the bottles, the pans. The pans are 25 bucks a piece. Yowza. The citric acid. Um, all my yarn smells like vinegar. Because we use vinegar, so they all smell like pickles. But I'm okay with that because it's my first time. And I really enjoyed doing it. So, yeah. It's expensive to start up, but it's really, really fun. And, I, you know, I love being creative. That's why hats off to, to the thrist because she's sitting there doing, you know, 30, 40 customers with the same exact yarn. You know, having to make it look the same and, you know, all that. And have it blend the same and all that. I couldn't do that. I, My brain just goes, oh, squirt some of this, squirt some of that. You know, let's throw a little bit of this color in there. I wouldn't be able to sit and, and dye the same exact thing you know, 80 times. There's just no way I would be able to do that. So, uh, I appreciate her so much for showing me. Thank you, girlfriend. I appreciate it. I absolutely love this. This is a really fun pastime. And it's yarn. So, what else can you say, right? And I really enjoy doing it. So, thank you so much. And thank you very much, Patricia, for my happy meal. And, um... Man, there's just so much here. And, oh, my Annie's. That's the only thing I haven't showed you. I am an affiliate for Annie's. So, if you're looking for an affiliate link, it's down below. This is this month. It's called the Color Shift uh, Shawl. Now, this is the Hook and Needle Club. I also get the Caring Crochet Club. But this is the Hook and Needle Club. And isn't... Here, how can I show you? Isn't that beautiful? And then I will show you the yarn they sent. It is the Color Fusion DK, 100% acrylic, 325 yards per ball. This one's called Blue Jeans. And this one's called Autumn Sky, which is absolutely appropriate. And that's what you use to make that beautiful shawl. Isn't it pretty? Definitely going to make this one. That one's a keeper. Okay, is there anything else? Well, other than a tour, um, also, too, I want to remind everybody that Mama G Gear's auction is directly after my live tomorrow night. Okay, so 
My life starts at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to end it at right around 8 o'clock. And right after that, we're going to de-raid Mama G and participate in her auction. Now, she does have some uh, free gifts, that, you know, some giveaways that she's going to be doing. But uh, it's going to be like a replay kind of thing. And she's going to be doing them throughout the auction. Now, if you don't have money to buy anything, don't worry about it. Just come and hang out with us and give her a thummies and some hours, you know, some watch hours. We'd appreciate that. Anything we can do to help Mama G, I'm all for it. So, Mama G and Rusty's Mental Health and Meows Auction, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over at Mama G's house. And like I said, we're going to be doing a D-raid and go from one to the other. And uh, hopefully I will see you on Saturday here, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there, be square. And then 8 p.m. at Mama G's house. Be there, be square. Okay, well, that's it for now. And I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you being here. And uh, I'm going to do a, a yarn room tour. That's probably going to be my next video. And uh, now that I've got this done and the desk built and everything, I have tore apart my house this week. Uh, working nonstop, so I haven't got everything mailed. I got it bagged up, and I got it ready to, you know, to put addresses on and print labels and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to do my best to have Mark take it to the post office Saturday morning. But if not, I apologize. I've had a very, very busy week, and actually, I could send this Saturday's gifts out as well if I wait till Monday. So it makes more sense to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm sorry uh, for the people that are waiting, but everything is on its way. And um, I'm going through emails right now. A lot of times I just read and make sure I got your address. But I always post a community post showing the happy mail and the giveaways and all that stuff going out the door. So you can see when I've mailed all the packages. And I put that on my community tab. Okay? So you will see the exact date. That it's being mailed so you can kind of watch your mailboxes. Okay, is there anything else I need to tell you? No, I think that's it for now. I'm going to clean up this mess. And then I'm going to do a tour of my new yarn room. And my new desk. And I got some more cubbies. And got some things organized. Although underneath my desk and like right behind me here is giveaway stuff. So it's a, it's a cluster mess. But that's okay. I'm sure you understand. I'm trying to give this stuff away. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love you so much. See you Saturday, my friends. Much love. I'm out of here. And where did I... Oh, I buried the clicker. It's not going to work anyway, but I buried it. Where did I bury the clicker? You guys are stuck with me for a minute. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. What did I do? Oh, you're in a lanch. Okay, yarn a lanch. I'm throwing it all in that box. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my allergy's going nuts out. Where is my dog gone clicker? Oh, there it is underneath the paper. I found it. <laughs> now it's not going to work, but you know. Anyways, much love, my friends. I'll see you on Saturday or I'll see you on the yarn room tour. And I love you. Be positive. Yeah, be positive anyway.